storytelling and how to tell a story. Well, stories really tell themselves, to be honest with you. The thing that people say is, oh, I wouldn't be able to do that. And you think, well, have you ever actually tried doing it? I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to remember it all. And this is one of the reasons why I think storytelling is so wonderful and why it's a great thing to teach to children and young people is it's something that we are losing is we're all losing our memories, aren't we? We are losing our memories. We are losing our ability to remember everything and we're losing our ability to listen as well. But um, you're not acting. You're not Laurence Olivier. This is not, now is our winter of our discontent made glorious by the... People aren't expecting you. They're not waiting on, on every word. They're, even if they know the outline of the story. Uh, every time a story is told, it's slightly different. Just remember the outline of a story and just fill in the bits. If you do, um, I think actors call it corpsing, where you just go completely blank and just cannot think of the next bit. If you if you at a storytelling club, the chances are you're going to be in a pub. I would really, if you are interested in learning how to tell stories, I would really recommend getting onto the Society for Storytelling website finding out if there's a club anywhere near you, going along, listening to a few other tellers for a few sessions, and then standing up and having a go yourself. Um, most clubs will encourage new members to have a go, but it is a good idea to go along two or three times, listen to everyone else, and then have a go yourself. But always have a glass with you. Look, Professional speakers do this. You have a glass and you just... And it looks very natural. And people think that, oh, your mouth's gone dry, your throat's gone dry or something. Hopefully they don't twig that actually you've forgotten the next bit. And you just need a couple of seconds to, uh, just to think of... And in that couple of seconds, hopefully, you've worked out what you're going to say next. Yeah, I was at a storytelling club once telling the um, the old woman and her pig, which is a catalogue story. And it, 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 most tellers know that one anyway. And I just couldn't think of the next bit. And so I just said, what's the next? And somebody said, it's either a mouse or a rat. <laughs> Depending on how you want to tell it, really. So if you are at a club, you're among friends, if, if you do really just blank out, don't worry about it. Someone will bail you out. But of course, if you're um, yeah, maybe telling to your friends, yeah, go on, why not? Have a party piece. Or if you know, may, maybe you're at an event, at a festival, actually performing, um, you know, don't worry about it. Um, just... It, it doesn't have to be the same every time. In fact, especially if it's not really. Just remember the outline and let the story tell itself. It's um, Once you start speaking, you'll find that it will all, it really will all just flow. And it's a lot of fun. And stories like to be told. I think of stories as, stories and songs as living things really, yeah? Ah. So don't worry too much. Don't worry too much about it. Don't try too hard. Just relax and just enjoy it. And remember that your audience are going to wish to listen to you because stories are wonderful and everyone enjoys hearing stories. So just have a go jump in the water's lovely just have a go actually honestly um is easier than you think and 
people will wish to listen to you people will enjoy listening to you honestly and the story itself will help you because stories are living things and stories like to be told hope to hear from you again soon and um, check out some of them check out some of my other videos yeah see you soon Take care.